I'll let you take this one because I didn't watch this TV series. Oh, you're gonna, I'm, I pretty much have refused to watch the TV shows. Um, okay, so I, I mentioned, I think, last week I was watching Hawkeye, so I, I finished yeah. it. Um, you're suffering through for us both. Bro, it's like, uh, I just like can't help it at this point. It, it's... I don't know. It's it's like the uh, the dumpster fires that you like, can't look away from or whatever. Yeah. Um. And I'll be fair. I'll be a little it's fair. Like when you see something gross, but you're like, Ugh, yeah. Uh, you keep going yeah. back to it. <laughs> I'll be a little fair to Hawkeye in a couple places. Um, okay. It is not the worst of the series. That's um, good. Ca- Ca- Captain Winter is definitely the worst. The worst. By I mean it. That dude. That show sucks. <laughs> um. Oh my gosh. It's so bad. You gotta do better, David. You've gotta do better, Senator. It's not any of the actors in the show that make yep. this series suck. Um, it's the writing, and it's specifically what they do in the last episode. Now, Joseph, you've seen Daredevil, correct? The old yes. the old show that was on Netflix, right? Yes. I want you to describe to me from what you remember the character of Kingpin from uh, the Daredevil show. Oh, man, I've forgotten so much. I think the first word that comes to mind is gruesome. Yeah. You know? uh, now, do you remember, is there a specific moment in that show in the first season involving a car door? <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, what if I told you that in the season finale, and I'm spoiling the show, I don't really care, like, I, I don't recommend watching it, but... Um, what if I told you that in the season finale of this show, um, that character doesn't get just get beat by uh, one teenage girl, uh, but by two teenage girls? I would say that makes total sense. I know many teenage <laughs> girls who can defeat six foot five, three hundred plus men. Yeah, that's not surprising that they went that route. I mean, for some reason, they just have a tradition of putting the scrawniest woman possible against a big man and just the woman tossing the man around like that would actually happen in real life. It won't. So that's not like, uh, yeah, so it's a little bit different in this. Um, Somehow, Kate Bishop gets the better of one of the most like ruthless characters in MCU history. Mm -hmm. Um, And he like, doesn't he's kind of like tossing her around or whatever. Um, And then she happens to like flick this like bottle cap or some sort of coin thing or whatever onto a bunch of her broken uh, trick shot arrows and they Mm -hmm. blow up and that's how she beats him. (laughs) When I mean, I I would have to like sit and break down the scene, uh, yeah. like not frame by frame necessarily, but really just slow it down and be like, okay, this was an opportunity where he could have thrown her into this electric wiring that she used to try to keep him from escaping, and it yeah. would have been over. It's it's that kind of stuff, right? Where right, it makes no sense because the people who are writing this stuff, um, they don't understand what they're doing. Right, it doesn't. It, it's like. I get, when you're having to write for like a visual medium, you have to kind of be able to break down how things are working so that they can make sense. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's one of the biggest complaints that people had about season eight of Game of Thrones is that a lot of the war tactics that they were using in that made, made no, no sense. sense. It's the same thing when you're having these like one on one fights with these characters, right? Yes, I understand that they're superheroes. And I understand that it's fantasy. It doesn't mean that there are there isn't certain logic that has to be used. The one that I like to bring up all the time now is Black Widow, where she drops like five stories and hit. <laughs> oh, yeah. she, she gets hit, like hit in the face on the so way down, dumb. like breaks her back and all this stuff and then she lands on her feet just slightly clutching her side going oh that kind of hurt and keeps on going you're like, what the crap it's that kind of stuff that yes. makes you go y'all don't know what you're doing what? yeah um yeah so it it's it's bad man um i the thing that sucks about that show is that maybe of all of them no wandavision wandavision has a lot of really good ideas in it too that just never really fully fully form um that's been the problem with with this show too. Is that there's some really interesting stuff there, and Haley mm-hmm. Haley Steinfeld is is a great actress. Um, she's really likable. Um, 
there's a lot of moments where you go like, oh, she's not just this like perfect uh, female character that's like essentially the the Mary Sue or like the Ray type character. Yes. Um, there's she makes from the very beginning of the show she makes like a lot of mistakes. Uh, the problem is is that I don't I don't think there's really anything in the show where those mistakes turn into her be, becoming a better person uh, mm-hmm. like it does for a lot of people. Um, Hawkeye kind of plays second fiddle. There's a lot of just, there's like a whole like LARPing side plot in it that's just kind of embarrassing. Um, doesn't really go anywhere. It, they really play him up as sort of this like sad, pathetic, um, past his prime sort of character. Mm-hmm. Uh, right. You know where it's like, oh, like people are like coming to the bathroom and be like, "Can I have your autograph?" And he's like, "Please leave me alone." Um, you know, just kind of uh, like I said, he's like they they kind of treat him like he's past his prime or whatever, and he's and it sucks too because watching the Avengers recently, even him in that movie, it's great. Um, mm-hmm. All the stuff with him and Black Widow is really good. And then, you know, when they're fighting at the end of Avengers, it, his quiver is really cool because it changes depending on the trick arrow that he needs. Um, mm. And it's all done with inside his quiver. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. And none of that is ever, as far as I'm aware, utilized again. <laughs> um, and it's definitely not done in this. Like they're doing like all this like makeshift stuff. And I'm like, aren't you like, as far as I know, I don't. I think Hawkeye still works for someone like I don't think he's retired um yeah, right. I could be wrong about that now I will say this one thing that I really liked and this was actually something a lot of people did uh liked for different reasons is that um he has hearing a hearing aid in this and she uh. she asks him specifically and because apparently he does in the comics so it's a a little bit of a nod to that but I liked that they made it applicable to his uh, his past it's like the one decent kind of through line that they do from past movies that he's been in because she asked him why he has that and it essentially just goes back to all the times that he's like had to bust through windows he's been near these giant explosions and like all this stuff happens and I'm like oh I was like that look look what you did right there this yeah. little this little slice right here you figured it out what happened <laughs> Because he's a human, right? You know what I mean? And right. so him having to do all that, it's going to um, take a toll on him. Uh, anyway, so I, yeah, I uh, can't recommend it, uh, but it, I don't know. I The 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 TV shows are so uh, forgettable yeah. at the end of the day. They're not important to watch. It's going to be one of those things that if Marvel ever is able to come out of this weird... Um, I mean, like, boring phase that they're in, right? Yeah. Like, if they can... Fit. Phase four. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't think there's any hope for phase four specifically. Nope. It's too late, I think, with a lot of these. Um, but if they can figure it out and they <laughs> essentially get all of their old characters back so that we have movies that people actually want to go see, and yeah. if the writing gets good, right? Because it's one thing to right. get, like, Robert Downey Jr. back or, or Hemsworth or anyone like that, but if the plot's not good, if the characters aren't good in it... Even the people that we like to see, it's only going to take you so far before people are like, oh, it's the same thing. You're just trying to hide behind uh, the nostalgia from the past, right? It's why the whole Spider-Man thing can't work forever if they're not able to, like, move that forward and if they don't understand the reasons why people actually liked uh, No Way Home. Yeah. So, it is what it is, man. All bow to our Disney overlords. Hail the mouse. Hail the mouse.